Hey everybody, it's Faith from Firesign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. All right, make sure I got all the cards here. Okay, Scorpio, you are next up for January round two. So let's get them down on the table for you. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 2022, round two. Who resonates with you? Cool. Jeffrey will do whatever you choose to do. The message given for the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. And all things can be vice versa. It might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Because we're doing round two a little different this month. I want to see if I missed anything in the last reading. So we'll do the all about you reading before the end of January, okay? But we're going to mix it up a little bit this month. Okay. Cross watchers are always welcome at the table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. If you're new, think we might vibe and stuff, think you might want to hang out a little more often, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you're returning, welcome back. Okay, the cards are saying that... They're done being shuffled, so I'm going to give them one more good one. Yeah, they're fighting me. Okay. If you're turning, welcome back. Thanks for coming back to hang out again. Anybody can hit the like button anytime. It is all appreciated. It all helps the channel. It all helps the videos be circulated to those who might need the messages. So, that being said, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, not vibing with you at all, feel free to leave the cards on the table and walk away. Might not be for you. Okay. All right. We're going to get them. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, and I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for... January round two. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual path and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Might be a Pisces you're dealing with. Oh. Okay. Looks like you got an offer for somebody, but they may not be available if you don't think they're available. Oh, shoot. I'm for the bottom of the deck. Okay. And this doesn't even make sense. What? All right. I don't even know what to clarify with. First major, Gemini. We'll do the whimsical, everyday witch. It's light, it's airy. Okay.
What's with the seven of swords? We're gonna go over them first. Oh, well, that's cute. They're gonna offer for you too, but they keep it to themselves. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Hermit Reverse. They're keeping it to themselves. That's strategic planning. Why the Six of Swords? For how they feel about you. Why the Six of Swords? Hold up, there's children afoot. Sorry, I thought I heard a bedroom door open. World Reverse, Six of Swords. Three of Swords. Well, something went down. You left him heartbroken. Just kind of left him hanging out there. At least in their eyes. What do they think of you? Why the Eight of Swords? Why the Eight of Swords? Oh, gosh. Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Wands reversed. You make them anxious. They gotta get something off your chest. But they think you gotta get something off your chest. They're anxious, they see you as anxious. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh wow! They know you're hanging back. They know you're watching. They know you're watching. They know you hold a cup, but it's called game. You already called game. Why the five of swords for their intended actions toward you? Okay. Lovers reversed. Somebody don't make a move. They're just going to let this close out and process whatever emotions go along with it. See the outcome, the Knight of Wands. Why the Knight of Wands is an outcome? Four of Pentacles. Emperor, Emperor. Moving forward towards stability. Possibly holding things in. Nine of Swords, Magician reversed. Why the Nine of Swords? Tower reversed. They're always going to wonder what if. They're always going to wonder what if. Okay, well. A little bit of clarity for your side. I feel like I know what's going on, though. You're keeping a secret. Why the Page of Pentacles?
You feel like you don't have very much to offer. Eight of Swords reversed. Why the Nine of Pentacles reversed? How do you feel about them? Ace of Swords reversed. They're not talking. Judgment reversed. You feel like they've buried this. They're not talking. There's no communication. You feel like they're no longer available. I'm going to put these back. <laughs> no, I'm not. Eight of Pentacles, Justice, Three of Cups reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Feels like friend zone. I'm gonna put these back, see if anything else comes out. Talk to me about this lovers reversed. Or what you think of them. Three cups reversed. Moon reversed. Yeah. This time it goes by, you're getting clarity. You, you're, you're not even in the friend zone. You didn't even get picked. That's how. You, that's what you think of them. You don't stand a snowball's chance in hell. Hanged man, but you're still sitting there hung up on it, though. Why the Ace of Wands? Why the Ace of Wands reverse for your intended action, Scorpio? Why the Ace of Wands reverse for Scorpio's intended actions? Nine of Cups. Not striking the match, not getting anything started. Walking your path. Sitting on a beach, trying to find inner happiness. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. You're working on you. Outcome, Queen of Wands. Strength. Possibly getting your strength back before pursuing what you want. Allowing a cycle to come to an end so something new can begin. Six of Pentacles, trying to attain balance. Ten of Cups. Finding happiness. It's not bad. That's not bad. This is weird, though. I feel like they may come back. Or attempt it, or they're thinking about it. Like, they want to, but... They're isolating and keeping it to themselves, too. Alright, give me a moon. Moonology. Give me a moonology. Neither one of you doing nothing. Nothing is set in stone. Alright. Good, because somebody ought to be getting up off their butt and doing something. None, neither one of you doing anything about it. You have cups and pentacles for each other and everybody else. Neither one of you doing anything about it. Fork in the road. Alright, nothing is set in stone. Mutable moon. 
Y'all, y'all, y'all. Mutable is all about change, shape shifting, even that something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing and there's room to maneuver. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there's also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone. What did I just say? Somebody needs to get up off their butt and do something about it. Nobody's talking. Uh, four in the road, number 13. One plus three is four. Four is the stability before the conflict and contrast. Hmm, number four, number 13. I know what I'm doing. It's okay. Fork in the road, essential meetings. Time to make a decision concerning the consequences as you prepare to act. Owning up to your obligation to make necessary choice. Okay. You've reached a moment of truth in the evolution of your relationship. Which will you choose? To open up to the possibility of love or to remain isolated? Go deeper and commit to mutual passion or walk away? This is a time to take responsibility for your truest desire and follow it. Be honest with yourself about what you're willing to do. Invest and give. Then choose. You cannot make a wrong choice. If you move forward with the relationship, know that it will be based in truth and authenticity. You will have made a conscious decision rather than simply hanging on because you don't want to be alone or ending things because you're afraid of the intensity of a genuine connection. All roads lead to the lessons you must learn in your relationships. Regardless of the decision you make, it will place you on the path to a true experience of the heart. Scorpio! What did I just say? Somebody, somebody gotta do or say something. Somebody gotta do or say something. All right, y'all, have a bang in January. I'll catch you guys for your next reading. All right, peace, love, and light, and be blessed. Get up off your butt and do something.